good morning guys so today we're gonna be making or uh, welcome to Timu Tuesday collab hosted by myself and Regina Regina Regina's practical tips and ideas it's an open collab we're just using our Timu goodness okay so today is tassels and dangles and next week we decided is hidden writing spots my sister Melinda Davis it's has that's her thing is hidden writing spots okay and we she, I asked her to make a playlist in case you don't know what one is and um, if you need to do a little homework <laughs> or if you just want to share it and see it and it stuff it's really cool she does a lot of neat ones okay and um, I will have that playlist linked um, down below too, okay? So now I'm going to show you a dangle. And um, I made this for, uh, let's see, it's not showing up, is it? I don't know if that'll stay on without the light. We'll see. We'll try. Without the plug. I can I can plug this into it too. Hey, there we go. Sorry if I'm moving you. Sorry, sorry. So what I did was I had these hollow um, elements. And, you know, it's not a bead because it's like hollow. They're just embellishment things. And do you see how they have an open center? And then what I did was just connected them, connected them with jump rings. I had I got some bigger jump rings from Timu, and I just connected them. And then this is like a two-inch post thing. And then this is like a charm with like a, I don't know what they call, I don't know what you call this jewelry stuff, but it has like a post at the top, okay? And then I just put it on a uh, lobster clasp, okay? But that is one dangle idea, okay? And I really like it. I think it's cute. And that's going on a current journal. And then I've been into tassels lately. You should see one I made. My gosh, it's big. And then um, it was so fun. And that's what gave me the idea. So this is an insert I made for a journal. She likes salmon. so And I had a whole ream of this salmon cardstock. So then I just made different elements, you know. And then... I attached the paper here with ribbon and then I just decided to add tassels to the to the ribbon so that will be sticking out side of the journal how fun is that isn't that great so we're gonna make one and let me set this aside so we don't okay and I decided I wanted now you have to think about how long you want it to be Okay, and I need two for the top corners, and I decided I wanted it to be this big. I want the top, these to be bigger, okay? And then I'm just collecting different stuff just to give it, you know, lots of fun texture, and it, it my, my tassels are kind of crazy, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and, um, let's see. One, two, three... And you just start wrapping them around. Let's see, how much of that do we have? Well, we're just going to hang that over and let those be shorter then. No, we can tie it with those. Okay, we'll tie it with those. I've got some of this. 
let's see, how much do we have of this? I don't know where all this stuff came from. But most of my lace and ribbon came from Timu. And I'm going to make another one just like this. Okay. And then we'll just we'll just hang that over because we're gonna have it hang down. Let's we'll see. Maybe I'll just do shorter ones. Okay. There. And I've got two kinds of rickrack. Do I need both? Sure. Okay, I'll add that at the end. I love this Rick Rack. It's mini. And then when you buy this Rick Rack, Timu has it. I got I got the bigger one from Timu. But you get like 25, 27 yards or something. So you get a lot. I've got this, the last of this blush colored thread. And I was going to add a bunch of that because it's kind of peach. She likes peach and salmon and turquoise and stuff. So I was going to add some of this. And we'll do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I am going to add turquoise because throughout the entire journal, I somehow turquoise meant, meant green. I, I, I kind of mix up blues. I can, it's like a whole spectrum. Okay. One, two, well, okay. And we're going to add some of this. I used a lot of this. And this is salmon, or coral, so we're going to add this. I've been having fun with this journal, and then I kind of got sidetracked because, because the collab crept up on me, so I had to, I, I, I almost had this finished, and then I was like, whoops, better work on the collab. And then I'm going to add that different. And then I have this. I'm going to add a single one of that, too. And I'm not going to add that because I've learned not to poke. I am going to add some of this. Okay, now we're ready to just do our singles. And I'm going to tie it with this. And I'm going to add a single of this. Because this feels like cotton trim, but it's not, it doesn't unravel quite as bad. And I'm going to add. A single of this.
and I loved, look, I couldn't find this thread anywhere, and I was going to show you. It was inside this curly ribbon, because I have this little bin of uh, ties and ribbons and stuff, and that is stuck on there. Let's see, hope it, if it, well, we can't use that. I'm just going to throw it away. And I love, love, love curly ribbon. So I'm going to add some gold to curly ribbon. You can add anything you want, guys. I'm learning. You can just add whatever you want. And I'm going to make a couple of long ones. Okay. And I just think it's fun to make them big and quirky, you know? And I love curly ribbon. I've used curly ribbon in journals before. Like my first ones, I used it to connect the signatures. And we got to do three of these, right? We do everything in threes. Okay. There. Now, is that going to be a dang or, or a tassel or what? What do you think? And these these crochet hooks. I'll look and see if you can get them on Timu. They have an eye at the bottom. How neat is that? A big eye. So when you're doing something like this. Oh, I was gonna add some of this too. Just a single. Because it it'll it'll zhuzh it up. And we're gonna say Okay, and then we are just going to bring it up to the top. And pull it off. Okay. We are going to tie it. Pull it really taut. And we're going to... And we're going to do that three times. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold that down into the tassel, okay? We can even, we can even flip our tassels so that knot is on the bottom. And we'll have to start cutting some of this. And I don't want to do that yet. Let's see, we can use yarn, yarn will work. And then you're going to pull it down. And if everybody already knows this, I'm sorry. But I've not seen tassels all crazy and silly like this. And it's my new favorite thing. You know. And I made this. I don't know why I made it that long, but that's okay. It's yarn. I was going to put, I did put crochet thread in here. That's right. And then we can just pull this down. Okay. And I like picking something to wrap it around, so then, you know, you're going to end up with your, you know, give yourself some extra room to trim it all off and stuff. And then you're going to end up with your, the, the size tassel you want without any waste. So we're going to hold on to this knot, and we're just going to start pulling this stuff down. And you have to pull each one individually, and then, um... Then that cleans up the top of the tassel, okay? And then 
you just have to start working with it because you want your top not to be neat you know and then we can grab this and just well we can't really pull it up I've added too much texture to it for it to want to pull up so we just have to start pulling these things down one at a time and then you just start pulling and then you notice which ones need it okay I don't know what that is sticking out there I'm just gonna snip that off and it'll get lost because I have no idea why that was sticking out and then But tassels are my new favorite thing. Big, chunky, zany, silly tassels. A lady, I sent her a happy mail thing. Um, she commented on it, and I was prepping the thing to send her. And then she commented something about she liked a tassel and I was like well I can do better than that and then I just went crazy and made her this giant pink tassel and so then that that got me hooked and all of this Timu ribbon and stuff is what is what made it cool too because I have it in so many colors and then when you get it or I I always make sure I get 10 yards which is a lot so then you can afford to use a couple yards, you know, a yard or whatever in here, you know, and still have all you need for other stuff, you know, because when you get 10 yards of something at a time, or like the Rick Rack, you get, uh, you get, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, the Rick Rack, you get like 27 yards or something, you know, it's a lot. So then you can afford to do stuff like this with it and not feel like, you know how I am about using up my stash. I always like to feel like I have plenty. So then getting such big amounts of stuff, you know, like the little, like the little th things from Dollar Tree are only three yards. And boy, I go through that fast. One night I used a whole thing just in one, just in one project, you know. A whole thing and um it was kind of frustrating because it went so fast so I that I even more appreciate the 10 yards of stuff now because I don't feel like I feel like I have plenty to use and I'm not using it all up on one project you know there I like the top of that a little messy I'm okay with that we got a chunk of something there what is that yarn Let's pull the yarn down. There. Okay. There. I like that. Okay. So, what we're going to start doing is cutting. And I like to cut stuff at a diagonal. And these scissors are pretty sharp. I don't need it to be too long. So we're going to open it up first and then see what we got. And then we might have to come back and trim some of it if it looks like a little much, you know. You need your sharpest scissors because these scissors are my best for a point. So I might need to get into that. There's our thread.
y'all want a sneak peek of a journal? I'm not done with it. I have to finish it. But I have shown the cover. So I'll just show you the cover. Because it's I guess I ruined that surprise. She said it didn't have to be a surprise. Okay, so I could spend a lot of time fussing with this, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna curl some Curl some curly ribbon. Yep, that is a good length. Just keep curling it till it's the right length. <laughs> Does anybody else end up with curly ribbon? I love it. And my kids, like if they give me a Christmas gift or something, it's always got a pile of curly ribbon on it. It really, really makes me happy. Makes me smile. I don't know why. I think curly ribbon is just so much fun. Anybody else ate up with it? And if you if it's not your thing, then please don't don't you dare use it. But if it is your thing, throw it in a tassel. Why not? But I didn't have to in this one. But if you do have to, um, I was going to show you something. Okay. <laughs> love it, love it. Sorry if you don't like if if you don't like curly ribbon. Let me know. You know who you are. And these need angled because they look chunky hanging there. Okay. Looky there. Isn't that fun? You like it? What do you think? And then, yeah. here is the journal. And then this charm, I hung it right on there. Or the dangle. And then you can see, uh, where'd it go? One, two, three. Oh yeah, I put that in the back. See, that'll stick out and then I tried to get a little turquoise but I kept doing mint so then I wanted to incorporate turquoise and coral into this and then that is good I'm gonna have one of these on the top see how these corners how I did the did the corners and it left it did I didn't it didn't it doesn't look good so I thought it needs a tassel too so it will get one of these on the front and back cover in the top corner. I don't know, is that too much? So there. How about that? Yay! Okay, tell me your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Love you, bye.